guys look my French channel. So today I have a tutorial on this look right here for you guys. It is on the new Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette. This palette is amazing. The shades are so creamy and easy to blend out. First, let's just talk about this packaging. Like, I dye. So pretty. Got the original pink because Jeffree Star, that's his signature color. And you have just the, the script writing on the front beauty killer. Just Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And then you open it. And you got this mirror, which is a great mirror um, at the top. And then we have the beautiful shades down here. Can I see that? First of all, the pan sizes are huge. Um, let's do some swatches so you guys can see. So I'm going to take one finger, rub it across like that. Can I see that? Can you all see that? The pigment is real. Like, no joke. Look at that. Look at that. One swipe, you guys. One swipe. Let's do this pink right here. One finger across, so we're gonna just like I mean, amazing the pigment is real. And honestly, you guys should go out and get this palette. Um, if you do have a chance to get this palette, go out and get it, it's amazing. Jeffrey killed it with this palette. I also used his lippies today. I used doll parts and celebrity skin. Then I took True Brown K liner by Kylie Cosmetics and I outlined my lips and I did ombre with these two. So this is the look that I came up with. So if you guys like to see how I created this look right here, just keep on watching. All right, so we're gonna be starting out by using the Benefit Air Patrol eyeshadow primer. I'm just gonna be priming my lips. Just blending it out with this small Cinity brush. So next I'm just taking some airspun translucent powder. I'm just going to be setting my lids. So taking this BH Cosmetics blending brush right here. I'm just going to be setting my lids. So today we're going to be using a new palette that I just got in the mail yesterday. This is the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer Palette. Color Courtney. Right here. And on that same BH Cosmetics brush, I'm just going to be putting it into my crease to work as our transition shade. Just because it doesn't really show up on me, but I just want to use it as something to work off of. Dipping into the shade Star Power right here, which is this pink. I'm going to be doing a halo eye. So just really getting my brush up in there. And then... Because I want to use the mirror too, so it's like, yeah. So, starting by putting this, the outer view of the eye. I'm using the Sigma Small Tapered Blending E45 brush. And then put in some in the inner corner as well, so that we can create the halo effect. Don't want to take it all the way in, you just want to stop it like right here. That's what we want to do. And then once you just build up that shape how you want it, start, you want to close your eyes down like this and then start to connect it in the crease. See, start getting that gradient effect. You want to make sure that everything is nice and blended. 
than how you would want it to be. I just, I know everybody's using this pink shade, but like I've seen it and I'm like, I mean, how can you not use a pink shade? It's like, this is like the signature Jeffrey color. Pink, because his hair is pink and he loves pink, so. You gotta use some star power. Once you get that as blended out as you want it to be, go ahead and do the other one. So once you get everything as blended as you want it to be, I'm gonna go in with Rich Bitch, which is this gold shade right here. It was really pretty, so I'm gonna put it in the center of my lids. So I'm just using this flat brush by Morphe, and I'm gonna just dab into that shade. It's a rich fish shade. These names, I love these names too. See? Yes, since I'm all this. My eyes are really watery today. I don't know why. I'm taking all that star power shade and I'm just blending, really cleaning it up and making sure it's how I want it. Taking all the star power shade right here, that same blending brush. I'm just going to be following the same pattern for the lower lash line as we did for the top. I'm going to do the same to the other side. Next, I'm taking some of Expensive, which is this blue shade right here. I'm going to be putting it right in the center underneath my waterline. Just dip the brush into the shade. Just thought it would be cool to add like a pop of blue. I'm taking a tart so fine like an eyeliner pen. And I'm just gonna be lining my lash line. Next, I'm taking some Too Faced Red and Sex Mascara. I'm going to be coating my lashes. I didn't originally have this look planned. I just sort of came up with it. Get this makeup deep full spectrum eyeliner pencil in obsidian and put it inside my waterline. Just a black shade. Coating my bottom lashes with mascara now. The same mascara. Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit in Deep. This shade right here. This angled contour brush by Makeup Deep. I was gonna say Murphy, but it's Makeup Deep. Taking some air spun powder to clean up the contour. 
on this Morphe M459 brush. Let this sit and bake. I'm going to be taking the Becca Cosmetics Luminous Blush and Flax Glove. It's one of my favorite shades. I think it'll go really well with this. For highlighting, I'm taking the Solstice Highlighting Palette from Sleek Makeup. Jeffree Star loved this, so I decided to pick it up and try it out. Most of us need the tutorials using it mainly anyway, so. I'm going to be taking this shade right here. Can I see that? One of my Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 brush. And just give it a go. Chin. My two face is the right brush. And we sit in my the big. Taking my Gerard Slay All Day setting spray, the peach shade, and I'm gonna be just setting my face. Okay, so for lips, I think I'm gonna take Celebrity Skin Liquid Lipstick by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It's just a nude color. Because they already have so much going on in the eyes. Taking the All Hurts with Water Stick by Jackie Star Cosmetics, and I'm just gonna be mixing it with this one, sort of ombre it out. Use True Brow King, the planner by Kylie Cosmetics, and just Outline. Bear with me. really hope you guys enjoyed it I really had fun creating this look with you guys it was a step-by-step -step process but I finally got here because I didn't originally go into this know what I was gonna do but then I came up with this so I really hope you guys like it see that highlight is beaming through really pretty um Jeffrey did an amazing job with the palette it's really gorgeous um the shades are just so easy to blend out. It's just amazing how so cre how creamy the shades are. And I ended up mixing like three, <laughs> mixing two lippies together and a lip liner to get this ombre effect. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give it a big thumbs up. I will leave all my social media in the description box below if you want to go add me on those. Honestly, if, Jeff if Jeffree Star sees this, hi Jeffree, you did an amazing job with the palette. I really hope you enjoyed the look that I came up with. 
and um what else i'll leave all of the products that i use in the description box below so you guys can know what i use subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i will see you all in my next video i'm a loves.